Here we have a scenario where you have a critical machine with a fault LED flashing, but the machine is continuing to operate normally. Diagnosing the controller, you find the error codes indicate there has been a low voltage condition. Since you don't know when the fault occurred or how often it's happened, it's difficult to diagnose the root of the problem. This is one of the most frustrating circumstances for an engineer, these random events that cause an error but allow for otherwise normal operation. To get to the root of the problem, we're going to use the scope meter's pass-fail testing mode. The pass-fail testing mode has the ability to capture the waveform in a known good state. It then stores the waveform into memory to use as a reference envelope. The envelope is created on the screen and then the oscilloscope continues monitoring. Any event or anomaly that goes outside of that predefined envelope will be captured and stored in memory for you to inspect later. The first step to set up pass-fail test mode is to capture the known good waveform and create a reference envelope. Press the scope mode, waveform options, and select reference. In the waveform reference menu, choose a new reference envelope. Here is where you define the window of tolerance by the number of pixels. In this instance, We'll choose a relatively tight window by selecting plus two pixels around the known good waveform, then pressing Enter. The next step in setting up the pass-fail test mode is to set up the oscilloscope to decide what it should capture, whether to store a waveform within the envelope in the pass mode, or store the waveform when it exceeds that envelope. Press the Waveform Option menu. Select Reference and then choose either Store on Fail when the unknown trace exceeds the envelope or Store on Pass when it remains within the envelope. For this test, we'll choose Store on Fail. Now the oscilloscope will monitor the input waveform and compare it to the waveform envelope that we've just created. Anytime a trace falls outside of that plus two pixel window, it will immediately capture that screen and store it to the replay memory. In the replay memory, we have a buffer of 100 screens where you can store up to 100 events on a first-in, first-out basis. Now let's cause an event using the demonstration board. The scope meter will beep indicating that it has captured a fail and stored it in the replay memory. When you return to the scope meter, simply go to the replay mode, access the replay memory, and you can scroll through each of the events one by one. Immediately, you can see the gray envelope overlaid with the waveform trace the scope has captured. In this test, you can see clearly that at the end of the cycle, the waveform exceeded the two pixel tolerance window. You can also go through each of the memories and spec every waveform looking for such anomalies. In this instance, you can see that the waveform trace exceeded that plus two pixel window, making it sensitive enough to capture just about any anomaly that falls outside that envelope. Without the pass-fail test mode and waveform capture, you would never be able to capture random once-off events like this.